Man, oh man, oh man, we're seeing some big debate going out about this one. The question is, is PlayStation and Naughty Dog milking The Last of Us 1 and 2? Check out my rant. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K of PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, Cloud Dosage, Geeks, you name it, I'm there. Back again with another video. Um, this is a rant, so bear with me. I, I don't have any uh, <laughs> notes with me, but I, I felt like because this was something that I saw brewing over the weekend that I put my two cents in it. It's an interesting topic. And me being late to the PlayStation gravy train, I, I felt like my opinion might be one of interest. So with that said, well, before we get any further in this video, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when we're dropping these doses. We appreciate all of y'all straight up. All right, so again, title of this one, PlayStation, Naughty Dog, Milking the Last of Us 1 and 2 is my rant. Um, <clears throat> so if you haven't been paying attention, Naughty Dog's remake or remaster, I believe it is, of The Last of Us Part 2 got leaked out. Right. And so therefore that caused Naughty Dog and PlayStation to subsequently announce that this game is being remade again. And this is just a PlayStation 5 remake. Um, now, I'm not 100 percent sure. Correct me in the chat if I'm wrong or in the comment section below. I believe that there was like a somewhat of a remaster of The Last of Us 2 or something like that, or it got some type of rebuffering or something like that. Um, to add 4k or to add 60 frames per second but now they're going all out they're going to do some more graphical magic and they're adding i think a survivor mode to this right and people are upset because they're like hold on we got a last of us part one remaster now we're getting the second one we're almost four years into this gen We've already got games from Gorilla. We've gotten games from Santa Monica. We have nothing from Naughty Dog. Like, what is going on? Are you guys just going to sit here and live off of The Last of Us 2? Y'all got the TV series, which is banging, but we need a brand new gaming IP. You're not just going to sit here and make this eons ago and milk this. This is the controversy. And in and, 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 and rebuttal to that, people are saying, well, you know what? Um, this is Naughty Dog. This is in a lot of people's opinions, Sony's best developer. Let Naughty Dog do what Naughty Dog want to do when they want to do it. We don't want to disrupt that magic, that flow over there. And we would rather them just take the time to make the game and put it out when they want to. Trust me, Naughty Dog wants the accolades. They, they, they love gaming. They all about it. They love being up in the camera and the spotlight when the opportunity comes. So they want to shine, but they're not going to put anything out there half baked. Um, I get the sentiment from both gamers. Um, if you're an if you're a PlayStation gamer and you've had a situation where you're kind of like in flux and not understanding when the next PlayStation set of games are coming out, like you know Wolverine is on the scene. Um, there's a rumor out that that might come in 2025. You know that uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is coming early 2024. But in between that, besides some games as a service titles, you really don't know what's on the horizon. You know things are brewing, things are cooking, but you don't know what. If you're a long-term PlayStation fan, this has to be one of the longest periods of not knowing what's coming that you've had in a long time because as of late playstation honestly has not been the best at fanfare and now I, I know a lot of people sit there and say well just trust playstation they always deliver and that has been true but i've been a long time in time gamer for like 35 plus years always knowing what's on the horizon has been a staple of gaming particularly in the last few years now i get it gamers are more rabid now they start you know foaming at the mouth seething at the teeth what is this coming out when is this coming out but i think developers and publishers can temper that which is saying you know what is still in the works like i remember like the biggest things that i remember as a gamer in recent history is picking up my game informer 
and seeing Borderlands, you know what I'm saying? The, the vision that was put out there. Then actually seeing that change into the extravaganza that Borderlands is now. Hearing about the division, you know, at E3, you know, when, when Massive first revealed that. And then seeing the changes, the ups and downs that that game is going through. And we've heard about those games years before they release. I think that knowing that fanfare, that type of transparency is a staple in gaming. Um, a lot of people just want to trust the process. But when it comes to these Fortune 500 companies or these big conglomerates, I don't never trust anybody. And especially with you, when you're talking about the amount of money that's being invested and asked to be thrown around by consumers in gaming, I do want to know what's coming down the pike. So I do sympathize with the gamers that are like, you know what? Um, you just throwing remake after remake. That doesn't make me feel easy. It, I think it coincides with the fact that we've gotten some bangers from PlayStation. Definitely, they are the kings of the mountain at the moment. But their long-term trajectory is simply just trust me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That being said, I'm gonna have to side with those that are like let Naughty Dog do its thing. I don't think it's fair to try to wind up the schedule on Naughty Dog getting out of his comfort zone because PlayStation isn't being transparent enough. I think PlayStation still is so shell-shocked from the Xbox 360 era because the Xbox 360 is the only console that gave it a run for its money. Now, we can argue whether who won that generation. We can have that another time. I'm not going to have that now. But at the very least, we can all agree that the 360 gave it a run for its money. And I think they're so shell-shocked from that that this time around they want to make sure they keep the foot on xbox's neck so they're not going to say anything because they feel like it's to their business strategic benefit to keep things as tight-lipped as possible and the only thing that we can look forward to is some remakes right that's a playstation problem i think naughty dog is working on something they got some stuff in the oven games take longer to develop now there's newer technologies i get you know one one for sure argument that's been thrown out there is look insomniac been dropping us with multiple games and i get that but and and, and they've been I'm not a big fan of Miles Morales or the original Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man 2, but we got to keep it a bug. Spider-Man 2 and what Insomniac puts out, they ain't on the level of Naughty Dog. And we know Naughty Dog got something brewing. So I'm in the mind state of just let Naughty Dog brew. I think we let Naughty Dog brew, but the problem is with PlayStation. PlayStation, we know PlayStation got stuff. I've talked to developers about other systems and other platforms that ain't got nothing to do with PlayStation. And you know what they we what they do as soon as we turn the mics off and we go just chit chat behind the scenes. Hey yo, have you heard this about PlayStation? Have you heard PlayStation got a treasure trove of stuff behind the scenes? And you ain't gotta trust me. I'm just saying this be, to, to help extenuate where I'm coming from. PlayStation, we know you got it, bruh. Just put it out there. Y'all got to get back to some of the fanfare that y'all used to do. That'll kill a lot of this noise. People have angst because they don't know what's coming down the pike. There's a subsect of gamers that trust y'all, and that's why y'all benefit and do so well. But again, you, you can't lose sight of the fanfare notion. I, I, I get to where y'all wasn't digging E3 anymore. I, I, I get that. But this close to the vest thing, now you see what's happening. Now the spillage of that is affecting Naughty Dog. I get why Naughty Dog is doing these remakes, right? It's beyond just letting, giving them time to brew. Ultimately, Naughty Dog is doing these remakes because look, PlayStation 5 is on par to surpass PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 is the second best selling PlayStation of all time, if I'm correct. I think number one is PlayStation 2. It's already on par to have a higher trajectory to surpass PlayStation 5. That's insane. That's insane looking at the fact that there's the Wii that's out there, Xbox is trying to churn it up with uh you know game pass and all this other stuff they're trying they're trying harder than they did last gen at the very least you can say what you want about them but at least they're trying harder and there's still and then there was a supply restraint and with all that they still 
are on par to surpass the PlayStation 4 in trajectory. What does that mean, y'all? That means that there were more, a significant more, a number, a, a, a significantly higher number, rather, of PlayStation gamers than there was before. Probably more so than when The Last of Us 1 and 2 originally came out. Heck, the show could have went and turned to a lot of people and made them say, yo, I might want to play that game. Heck, you might have some diehard zealots from across the street who've been told, oh, PlayStation games are just cinematic, interactive movies. They're not that great. And then they're seeing all these accolades all of a sudden, and they're like, they're not getting over there. And they're like, hold on, I'm gonna still keep playing this, but let me go get a PlayStation. I mean, all this, all there's all this data that's behind the scenes that you and I don't see. But I believe, but believe you me, the one thing that we can surmise is that there's a lot more PlayStation people coming over than ever before. And they probably haven't touched those games. So because they haven't touched those games, that's why Naughty Dog and coordination with PlayStation, of course, I, that's why they're re-releasing these. Um, it's been said that the new entrance into Naughty Dog, they're the ones working on these remakes and that the um, the the officials, the the, the 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 mad scientists, if you will, of mad of Naughty Dog, are working on the new stuff that's supposed to be coming, right? So, with that said, I get it, I understand it. I think the bigger problem is PlayStation as a whole is not showing anything substantial. And we got we got Wolverine, we got Final Fantasy, we but there's and there's a, there's a slew of other ones. But as far as like the big boom, the big hitters, which we're usually like we know about a couple of years in advance, PlayStation hasn't said nothing, and I think it's starting to work against them. But you know, so I get the angst, but I do think that Naughty Dog shouldn't suffer because of it, and I think trying to get Naughty Dog to get out of their rhythm right now just wouldn't be a good idea those are my thoughts but let me know what you think because i think it's a great debate i can't I, i'm not mad at anybody for which way they, they they come down on this thing especially me because i'm a i'm a newer playstation gamer and that's why i sympathize more with hey you know i get these remakes you know let me play them you know you know what i'm saying because I, I never played them before well, i played last of us too but i never really like gave last of us one a chance you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe now I'll be inclined to do it. And if people want to play the newer versions that have played the older versions, it's just $10 to upgrade. You know what I mean? So with that said, that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But with all that said, until next time, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.